Herschel in the context of astronomy, who do you think of first? For many of you, it's probably William Herschel, who is the man who discovered Uranus in 1781. And did you know that Uranus is the first planet to be discovered by a telescope? Nevertheless, did you know that William had a sister who also made a name for herself in astronomy? And that name is Caroline. Caroline Herschel arrived in Bath, England at the age of 22 in 1772 from Hanover, Germany. The siblings were a performing duo. He played the organ while she was the singer. And eventually, astronomy took over their lives. It was something of a hobby for William. And they started making their own telescopes and eventually it just took off. After William made his discovery, him and his sister were moved to Windsor to be astronomers for the royal family under King George III. It is after this time that Caroline really starts to get into astronomy and starting to make a name for herself in the field. Her list of accomplishments and awards are very long, but I would like to just share a few with you today. In 1786, Caroline Herschel was the very first woman to discover a comet. This comet was later named after her. She would go on to discover eight comets in total. Throughout the span of her career, she would discover three separate groupings of nebula called nebulae. She would catalog over 2,500 nebulae in her career. In the later half of her career, she would work on revising astronomers John Flamsteed's star catalog. There were over 3,000 stars in this catalog and it took her over 20 months to get it done. Caroline Herschel is the first woman in Britain to earn a salary for her job in science. King George III gave her a 50 pound salary to be William's assistant. Caroline Herschel is the very first woman to gain a honorary membership into Britain's prestigious Royal Society and also the first woman to gain an honorary membership into the Royal Irish Academy. Caroline passed in 1848 at the age of 97. Her tombstone reads, the eyes of her who is glorified here below turned to the starry heavens. Thank you all for joining me today. Hope you learned something. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our page for more information and videos like this one. And remember, for all womankind, the sky is not the limit, just the beginning.